it goes back to my first year in the junior eight. That period when we do our classical studies, during my annual eight-day retreat, I had a clear vision that my vocation was to be a missionary and that it would lead me to Japan. And don't ask me what vision means. It's a question of an intimate experience that no word can describe and that can only be understood as it unfolds in time. Our spirit pierced the sublime dome of the material heaven and was raised to the throne of the divine majesty, the seat of the Trinity, and thought I was seeing the celestial Jerusalem. I thought I was seeing Jesus Christ accompanied by San Francisco Javier, the first apostle of Japan. And there now was I, standing before Javier's Japan, facing an unknown future. If I had known then how much I would have to suffer, my hands would have trembled when elevating the host. I spent days and nights in the December cold, entirely alone. I was tormented by the uncertainty of the reason for my imprisonment. Many were things I learned during this time, the science of silence, of solitude, of severe and austere poverty, of inner dialogue with the guest of my soul. I believe this was the most instructive month of my entire life.
torrents of grace certainly poured forth from that host and that altar. Six months later, when having been cared for, all had left the house and only two persons died. Many among them had been baptized and all had learned that Christian charity knows how to understand help and give a consolation that surpassed all human comforting. In spite of the suffering the people of Hiroshima endured, I had to admire their calmness with which they withstood the crisis.